Hi, my name is Chris Dillinger, and I represent GPM Hydraulic Consulting, the nation's leader in hydraulic training, troubleshooting, and reliability services. Today, I'm going to show you how to check the condition of a pump through the relief valve. What I'll be using is our hydraulic trainer that we use in our maintenance basic hydraulic troubleshooting class. Uh, if you have a flow meter in the system, as the easiest way to check the pump is through the relief valve. So installing a, uh, a flow meter in the relief valve, we're going to show you how we can check the condition of the pump. First thing you want to do is find a way to deadhead the pump and relief valve from the rest of the system. I'm doing it here with the flow control just by shutting it all the way off. The next thing I want to do is turn the relief valve all the way to its lowest setting. Now we'll turn it out just to where I don't feel any spring tension because some of these can back all the way out. Next, what we want to do is turn the compensator all the way in. By doing that, what we're doing is turn the pressure to the compensator all the way up so the pump will stay at maximum volume. So right now, we have four gallons a minute coming through the flow meter. That tells me that this pump is set to allow four gallons a minute to come out. Now, even a badly worn pump will deliver all of its volume under little to no pressure. Now what I'm looking for is when I do turn the pressure up on the relief valve, is if the flow were to decrease out of the relief valve tank line, that would tell me that the pump was bad. If the flow doesn't decrease when I turn the relief valve up, that tells me that my pump is still good. I'm going to show you how that works. As I turn the relief valve up, you'll notice the pressure on the pressure gauge start to rise. And I can set that to whatever I have my relief valve setting. Let's say for this example, 700 PSI is our relief valve setting. You notice the flow in the flow meter did not change. Now that tells me that my pump is good and it doesn't need to be changed. And now, in this instance, if I did turn the relief valve up, and the flow having to decrease out of the flow meter through the relief valve, that would tell me that that pump needs to be replaced. If you found this tip helpful, visit us at our website, gpmhydraulic.com, and learn about our two-part training program. 